Okay, our card has dried and we're ready to glue it together. So I've already got my pieces cut and ready to go. The measurements for these will be on your supply list. And this one here goes up a little bit, leaves some room for a sentiment to be stamped on the bottom. And in all honesty, the reason there's that space is because when I was doing my sample, you know how I was talking about the outline for this and how it's better to do it at the beginning because you might um, accidentally have your marker slip and color in? Well, that's what happened. So I ended up color cutting a piece off and then using this for the sentiment on the bottom. It's all about creative problem solving. All right, so I'm using a white ink pad to color on there. I'm going to put some magnets down here so that my card doesn't move just at the off chance that I have to stamp it a second time. If by chance when you're inking your stamp you see it go around the edges of the stamp, then wipe those off before you stamp it because there's a good chance you're going to transfer it to your card. So this one here, I'm actually going to do it twice just so that I get a little bit of a darker white there. This is a white dye ink. You could use a white pigment ink too. I just wanted, I didn't want it to pop out too, too much, but I did want to be able to see it. So I stamped it twice. Now, very last step. With Copic markers, with the alcohol markers, you can put things on them and that ink is not gonna go anywhere. So I'm taking some glossy accents and I'm just gonna put it on my little raindrops to give them a little bit of shine and dimension. And it's not gonna change the color underneath them. I mean, this one, I don't have a lot of color underneath it. But you could go over two different colors in the same amount or in the same thing of glossy accents and it's not going to affect the colors in any way whereas dye markers it sometimes changes it. So there we go our card is done. With these wet glossy accents you want to set it aside to dry and don't touch it for a little while.